everyone this is doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already i greatly appreciate it. if you hit that little red subscribe button you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up well miss cindy and i we're here to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less but before we do that i just want to wish everyone a very happy new year and i don't know about you but i think 2020 is just going to be a great great year and one of my goals is just to continue to bring you the real news the truth in 15 minutes or less as often as i can and i also continue i want to continue to be a prayer warrior praying for our president his family our military and their families 17 in the team and just all of you my wonderful subscribers who i just appreciate so much and i just love each and every one of you now you know we don't know what this year will bring but if you'll put your trust in jesus and just let him take the reins of your life over he will give you the strength and the courage to face any and all obstacles in your life he will give you joy he will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding and he gives us hope that when we pass from this life that we will have a wonderful life waiting for us in heaven so my wish for all of you listening is that you will put your faith in jesus and lean on him each and every day in the good times and the bad and he will lead us all in the right direction now on to the news breitbart they're reporting that the department of defense secretary mark esper well he announced tuesday evening that he has approved the deployment of 750 u.s soldiers to the middle east following that awful attack on the u.s embassy by pro-iran forces who chant death to america now esper tweeted out that the troops will be deployed immediately and additional u.s forces are prepared to follow over the next few days now this deployment is a precautionary action taken in response to increased threat levels against u.s personnel and facilities such as we witnessed in baghdad now dr esper reassured americans in his tweet that the united states will protect our people and interest anywhere they are found around the world too bad that Dr. Esper and our wonderful president was not in charge when Benghazi was attacked and those four patriotic Americans lost their lives. And I'll leave a link. An article on the David Harris Jr. show page had information on the man who opened fire in that Texas church on Sunday, killing two before being shot dead by one of the parishioners. Now, he was identified as Keith Thomas Kennanen a convicted felon who under federal law could not legally own a gun. Hmm. Now, online court records show that Keith pleaded guilty to felony aggravated assault and battery in a Grady County, Oklahoma court in 2013, along with pleading guilty to felony third degree arson so gun control laws didn't help in this situation because the shooter was a felon in possession of a weapon even though federal law stated he should not have had any firearms whatsoever now the leftist loonies want to disarm us and get us to fall for their globalist agenda well guys that can never happen we've got to fight against it with all we have we must speak up in defense of our constitutionally mandated rights as set forth in the second amendment and i'll leave a link now on to hunter biden he had a tax lien filed against him for more than a hundred and twelve thousand dollars in unpaid income taxes in 2015 hmm now this happened during his first full year serving on the board of directors of burisma the irs filed the lien against hunter and his wife after failing to receive payment for their tax tax liability on income earned in 2015 and apparently the lien is still active since no release documents have been filed by the irs now the irs wrote a notice to the recorder of deeds of washington dc in november 2018 saying this we have made a demand for payment of this liability but it remains unpaid therefore this is a lien in favor of the united states 
on all property and rights to property for the amount of the taxes. The lien was issued on income from Burisma, where Hunter was paid as much as $83,000 a month. So, Hunter apparently thinks that he's above the law and he doesn't have to pay his taxes, but the IRS, they don't play, y'all. Now, it's my guess that the IRS is probably going to have to eventually seize that property because it's going to be hard to pay taxes from behind bars where he and his dad will both hopefully be in the near future. And I'll leave a link. Now, the IRS is not Hunter's only problem. Hunter had a child with a 28-year-old woman named Luden Roberts after meeting her at a D.C. strip joint where she worked as a stripper. Now she is demanding a hefty child support payment. London has dragged Hunter into a nasty court battle after he refused to pay child support for over a year. I guess we can add dead, deadbeat dad to Hunter's title. Anyway, Hunter claims he's in debt and he refuses to turn over the last five years of his financial records. Hmm... Guys, I don't know about you, but how in the world do you make $83,000 a month, more than most people make in a year, and be in major debt, not pay your taxes, and not pay to take care of your child? Mm -mm -mm. Now, London Roberts' attorneys want Biden to be held in contempt of court for refusing to turn over his financial records related to Burisma and the Chinese private equity firm. Well, good for them. They, they need to get those records. However, the judge in this case recused himself on Tuesday. Judge Don McSpadden of Independence County didn't give any explanation when he announced he was recusing himself. So, who knows what's up with that. However, the Daily Mail reported that a private investigator named Dominic Casey, he claims he has obtained Biden's bank account records. Hmm. So, guys, this is getting very interesting, and I'll keep following the story for you, but like I said, Hunter Biden won't be a free man forever, so the mother of his baby, she may never get that child support. Time will tell, and I'll leave a link to the Gateway Pundit article. Now, that nice young man, Mark Lutchman, he tweeted this out. My New Year's wish is that my generation wakes up from the evils of liberalism. Who's with me? Well, we're with you, Mark. Then the Bradford Files tweeted this. This is my third sober New Year's. It keeps getting better. Never give up, folks, ever. Well, he's absolutely right. We have to keep going. And congratulations on your sobriety, the Bradford Files. Then our beautiful First Lady Melania Trump, she tweeted this out. 2019 was a successful year. It was a privilege to meet so many incredible people. As we head into the new year, I will continue speaking with children and encourage them to be best don't you just love our elegant and classy First Lady? Now, as we start this new year, I just wish all of you joy, happiness, peace, and love. And I want to leave you with 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 8, that says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to share this video with others. My content is free. And until next time, this is Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.